keto. Good karma. Call it karma if you like, but the Bible says obedience brings blessing and disobedience brings curses. Have you ever heard of karma? The word karma is a Sanskrit word that was originally used in Eastern religions like Buddhism and Hinduism to express the concept of an action or deed begetting consequences in the future. A similar English concept says, what goes around comes around. It is the idea of a cycle of cause and effect. All these blessings will come upon you and overtake you if you obey the Lord your God. Deuteronomy 28 verse 2. Karma is a pagan concept. It does not appear in the Bible, but a similar idea does. The Bible explains that deeds and actions have consequences because obedience to God begets blessing and disobedience to God begets curses. Obey God, walk in his ways, and keep his commandments, and he will heap blessings upon you. At least that's how it's supposed to work, and it usually does. It's a simple prescription for a successful life. Even a secular person will admit that big, obvious sins have negative and curse-like consequences. For example, drug and alcohol abuse leads to ruin and dysfunction. Philandering, fornication, and sexual immorality lead to abortions, deviancies, diseases, broken homes, and broken hearts. Robbery, murder, and other crimes lead to bad ends. The pagan world would call it bad karma. The Bible calls it curses. The world says that karma is going to get you. The Bible says that God rewards and punishes. The blessings and curses of Deuteronomy work on a similar principle. If Israel obeys God, they will be blessed. If they disobey God, they will be cursed. The difference between the general principle of reward and punishment and the blessings and curses of Deuteronomy is that the reward and punishment are meted out not on an individual level, but on a national level. When Israel as a nation sins and strays from the Torah, the whole nation suffers for it. When Israel walks in obedience to God's laws, the whole nation profits. Moses told the children of Israel that the blessings of God would come upon them and overtake them. His words evoke the image of God's bounty and goodness relentlessly pursuing the people of Israel, lavishing upon them rewards for walking in obedience to the Lord. He said they would be blessed everywhere, in the city and the country. He said they would be blessed with prolific fertility through their children and livestock.